Over the course of the past year, I've used Zoom, Google Meet, and Cal.com for video calling for my businesses. And in this video, I'm gonna review and compare all three of them. All three are great options, but the one you pick will be determined by number one, your budget, and number two, your particular use case. I lead with that because my opinions about these softwares are based on my use case. I'm looking at this from the perspective of a simple one-person business where the majority of my calls are one-on-one -on -one and where I'm billing clients hourly. So if you have more complex needs, such as being able to host webinars and have advanced features and integrations and AI and things like that, I'm not gonna go into the weeds on all those types of details. So here's my pros and cons for each software broken down by category. First thing I'm gonna look at is price. That's the first thing that most entrepreneurs are concerned about when they're trying to run a lean business. All three can be used for free, but all three have limitations. With Zoom, you can only have meetings up to 40 minutes on the free plan and up to 100 people in a call. More than that, and you'll need to upgrade. With Google Meet, if you have three or more participants, you can only do one hour calls, and then you have to upgrade to the Google Workspace, which starts at $6 per month. Which brings up another important consideration. If you're already in the Google ecosystem, using Google Workspace and Gmail for your business, that's a strong pull to using Meet over the other two options for you. With Cal.com, the information is harder to find, so I had to do some digging, but from what I could tell, there are no call time limits and you can have up to 300 participants per call on the free plan. So in this category, cal.com is the clear winner. In my ranking system here, I'm going to give a one to the winner in a category and three to the loser. So one is best. So with that, cal.com gets the first win of the video, Meet gets a two, and Zoom has to get a three here. So early lead for cal.com, Let's see where we go from here. The second category I'm gonna look at is features. Here's what all three have that I use and need. Screen sharing, call recording, in-call chat capability, the normal essential settings like being able to choose your webcam and microphone, being able to mute yourself, and all three have the ability to blur your background or change your background. But I'm not gonna beat around the bush here. Zoom is the hands down winner on features. It's got everything the other two have, and a ton more. So for example, it's got built-in AI note-taking. It's got screen annotation and whiteboarding. It's got breakout rooms. There's just a crazy amount of stuff you can do with Zoom that I don't possibly have time to go into all of them. But again, for most small businesses, that stuff is overkill. On the other side of the spectrum, cal.com is hands down the simplest of the three. It's lightweight and minimal, which is great for just a quick meeting. But personally, I have to use Zoom when I'm teaching a software because I need to use the remote control and screen annotations. And Google Meet falls somewhere in the middle. It has features that cal.com doesn't, but nowhere near the capabilities of Zoom. So for those reasons, Zoom is my top pick for features, Meet is number two, and cal.com comes in at number three. Now, when it comes to ease of use and simplicity, if you are working with non-tech savvy clients as I do on a daily basis, you need your tools to be well-designed and easy to use. Even something like granting your browser permission to access your microphone and camera might seem really simple to you, but can be a major hurdle to someone who's not tech savvy. Zoom, Google Meets, and Cal.com all have similar interfaces. They all have a chat button, a screen share button, a leave call button, and more or less the same core features inside of a call. So in that sense, they're all easy to use. Now what sets them apart is that Google Meet and Cal.com are browser-based, meaning you do your calls from within your browser. No need to download anything or even create an account if you're just a guest joining a call. Zoom stands alone as a desktop app or if you're on your mobile device, a mobile app, meaning you have to download that software to your device. So for that reason alone, I give Zoom the worst score here because I can't tell you how many times I've had clients be five to 10 minutes late and stressed out when they join the call because they had to run a Zoom update at the last minute. Google Meets and Cal.com, on the other hand, are as simple as clicking the link in your booking email. If you're on a different device than you usually are, no problem. As long as you have a browser, you're good to go. 
Now, the biggest problems you might run into there is people not knowing how to grant permission to their webcam and microphone or having some sort of browser extension that causes issues with the call page. But in my experience, those are way less frequent than the issues I see with Zoom, which, by the way, Zoom requires that you grant permissions to do screen sharing and remote control and stuff like that at an operating system level, which has also wasted a lot of meeting time for me and my clients. So in the ease of use slash simplicity category, this is really just the inverse of the features ranking. Cal.com is minimalist and very straightforward. So that's my top pick here. Meet is slightly more complicated. So that gets another two. And Zoom does just about everything, but isn't simple at all. It gets a three. And the fourth and final category I'm going to look at is familiarity. In my business, I work with a lot of seniors and people who are not tech savvy and don't like when things change. As such, I've learned that keeping things as familiar as possible is a really important consideration. And when it comes to familiarity, Zoom is the clear winner here. I don't have much more to say than that. Zoom has become significantly popular since 2020 when you know so many jobs went remote. And it has, I believe, I couldn't find reliable data, data about this, but anecdotally, it seems that Zoom has the largest market share in the video conferencing space. Businesses use it, the US government uses it, and families use it. So for that reason, Zoom is hands down the winner in this familiarity category. Back to our ranking table, here Zoom gets a one, Meet gets a two, and Cal.com is the least known and least used of the three, so it gets a three. If we add up all these scores, they all get an eight, but that doesn't really tell us much. It doesn't really make sense to do. This is not about an overall score. Like I mentioned, the features and simplicity categories are the inverse of each other. So it doesn't really make sense to add those two together. And maybe for your business, you need to look at other categories altogether, like the collaboration tools that they offer or the ability to host a webinar. Personally, I use cal.com whenever I don't need to do screen annotations or remote control. But if I do, I have to use Zoom. So I use both tools on a daily basis. I rarely use Meet anymore. I've never had an issue with it, but I just don't need it and I'm not in the Google ecosystem. Let me know in the comments what software you'd like me to review next.